But that Kiva, to my way of thinking always, was a very unusually and singularly spectacular organization. The finest efflorescence of Jewish youth and beyond through the years has come through Yeshiva Spinakiva. And we have great Yeshivas today with great Tamil Chachamim, and I respect them and admire them. And there is a renaissance in Jewish learning, the like of which we haven't known in 2,000 years. But there's something about Yeshiva's B'nai Akiva in this day and age, in the time of Jewish Renaissance, which sets B'nai Akiva apart. I came to Eretz Yisrael for the first time when I was a teenager in 1949, the first year after the establishment of the State of Israel. My father had sent me to Israel. He wanted me to see at least once in his lifetime my grandfather, Rabbi Yaakov Moshe Chalap. Rabbi Yaakov Moshe Chalap, of course, was a Rosh Yeshiva of America's Arab at that time. And he was a Rosh Yeshiva from the very beginning under Rav Kook, or with Rav Kook, uh, of uh, Yeshiva of America's Arab. And the, my his grandfather told me that uh, Rabbi Neriria had come to him. He had an idea. He wanted to build a yeshiva, a Akiva, that would encompass everything that was important to the Jew. Torah and Torah's Eretz Yisrael. Eretz Yisrael exists today. The army, one of the most important parts of the army is the, the Hezder and that, which grew out of what Reb Neria did. What, what came to me is, is, especially as a surprise, was that uh, my co-honored guests, uh, Rabbi and uh, Mrs. Jonathan Gross, have a very interesting tie with me. It's a, and although uh, it's a tie that I never really was at the founding that time, but that tie was Nebraska, Omaha, Nebraska. My father's, one of my father's synagogues before he came to New York, was Omaha, Nebraska. And of course, the tie that he's a Muslim of our yeshiva, and he receives smicha from me is, is certainly also very, very important. I think the role of Yeshiva B'nai Akiva today in Eretz Yisrael is certainly as important as it ever was, but I very, very strongly and surely believe that it's even more important. It is probably the most dedicated element in Israel the Bnei Akiva doesn't in any way segregate themselves from the rest of the community. It's part and parcel of that community. And the piety, the frumkeit, the amuna pshuta that's required today is certainly more than ever before for the wholeness and the totality of what we are and what we can, we can portend for the future. There are many important institutions and we are beleaguered on all sides by institutions, and uh, all of them are worthy, worthwhile. And it's hard to say one is more worthwhile than another. But if I had to separate between Kedushos, I would separate a few, and one of them I would certainly separate, and say it's a Kodesh Kedosh, is B'nai Akiva, Yeshiva's B'nai Akiva. They represent in the totality of everything that's holy and sacred and precious to us and everything that will allow us to continue the totality of what is expected of us.